A breakthrough discovery and probably one of the biggest in the last few hundred years may finally put to rest the question of whether mermaids really exist. Our next guest may have taken one of the best of the Loch Ness Monster. Has been captured on camera. A bit long, four feet wide, grey in colour. Seemed to be moving into the waves against the wind. So how did the worm move when you saw it? What, what kind of movement did it make? Just like a snake. Like a snake. Pod Pals. One man filmed a dolphin pod breaching along the Russian coast from his drone. When he reviewed the clip back home, he noticed something odd. One of the dolphins suddenly threw forward its arms. That's right, arms. If I remember correctly, dolphins or any other similar creature didn't have any hands. So it looks like he accidentally captured a mermaid, casually swimming with the dolphins. Sakura Splash Still skeptical about the existence of mermaids, one Japanese citizen was trying out his new drone in a small creek along the Shirokuma forest when he captured this mermaid slowly creeping along the bed. It seems the water got too shallow for her at one point, and she was trying to make a quick getaway before anyone spotted her. But thanks to this soundless drone, we were able to get a good view. A rippling find. Well, I'll be damned, that's a mermaid secretly filmed by a drone whizzing over an undisclosed pond in the US. To think we've spent centuries hearing about mermaid sightings only to think they are myths. And here is one of them, effortlessly swimming. Well, the mermaid managed to pick a spot that wouldn't be visited by locals, so we don't know exactly where it is. But this mermaid believes she's hiding from everyone. Nothing can stop our good old drones from spotting this beauty. Ice Flow Nessie how strange and kind of spooky it was, and it was, it was exciting. So I've never seen anything like that. In November 2016, government officials captured a fascinating drone video on the China River in Fairbanks, Alaska. A mysterious ice-covered object was seen gently moving with the river's flow. Online spectators buzzed with theories. Could it be a sturgeon, a shark, a river monster, or an ice ghost? Experts have shared their thoughts, suggesting it might be debris draped in snow and ice, snagged by something unseen beneath the water's surface. Yet, the way it moved, pushed by the current, kept the door open to imagination. Could it actually be Alaska's answer to the Loch Ness Monster? Or is it merely the river's playful trick on our senses? Proof to people, yes, I really did see this weird thing in the river. Shiver me timbers. What? What the world? What? What is that? This was captured by a drone enthusiast exploring a forest in Alaska, and call me crazy, but it looks like a hairy creature walking on two legs, almost like a Sasquatch. The drone owner couldn't believe his eyes either, and flew closer to get a good look. But by then, the mysterious bipedal became difficult to spot because of the angle. No way. Are you serious? Unwilling to give up, the drone aimed closer, but the Sasquatch-type creature had sensed the gadget and quickly ducked behind the trees. Well, at least we got a good look. Cosmic Imposter Remember thinking the xenomorph from Aliens was just a product of CGI? Well, think again. A similar species was seen crossing a forest in the United States, and the duo would have gone unnoticed if it weren't for the pesky zone of silent creeping over the sky. Well. We can try to figure out what it is. It could be a couple of teens just acting silly, or people wearing special effects makeup. But the height and physique of their bodies suggest they're not your average humans. Skydye Spy Just a few days ago, one resident in North Charlotte, California, decided to test out his drone in the backyard. But he ended up capturing a large multicolored flare in the air, suspended almost as if it was an aircraft. Not believing his eyes, he positioned the drone to face the mysterious glowing orb and noticed three lights glinting from there. He uploaded this in hopes of finding out what it was, and that's when a flurry of reports of similar sightings came in. Well, what do you think this is? The government up to its usual shenanigans or extraterrestrial visits? Fast and dust -urious? Remember Back to the Future? A drone was trying to follow a speeding car, but just as it came into view, this happened. That's right. The car just turned into dust and vanished from view. Creepy, isn't it? What do you think it is? It looks a bit too sudden to be CGI or video editing. And if it really is a vanishing car, do you think it just teleported into another dimension? Gone with the wind. This is why women live longer. 
Can't believe it either, but that's really a man casually sunbathing on top of a windmill. Which is probably as tall as 80 meters. Now, who would do something as crazy as this? The guy probably didn't expect to be seen this high up. Maybe he just wanted some fresh air? But this isn't a one-time thing. Turns out, this is brother Joseph Byron, a Benedictine monk who's been lounging on top of a windmill since 2006. Into the void. This is the moment a dam in Chile opened up its gates to let out thousands of gallons of water, coincidentally captured by a drone that was flying in the area. The decision to open up the dam didn't come lightly. Chile experienced torrential rains in 2023, causing the area to become a hotspot for flash floods. So the government decided to take this step to ensure the safety of citizens. The way it releases the water pressure is the most efficient way to reduce energy, because if it didn't, it would wash out everything downstream. We can even sense the immense pressure here. That's impressive. Wiped out. In 1980, a WWW two airplane belonging to Pablo Escobar, leader of the Medellin cartel, missed the runway and skidded into the water in Norman's Cay in the Bahamas. The plane has remained there since and even became a popular dive site. This was captured by one tourist who decided to explore the dive site without risking going in. The plane had been completely picked clean by scavengers and only stood out as an empty shell. Well, at least you get a good view. Last man standing. While playing around with their drone, a bunch of teenagers spotted this odd looking guy walking through the woods. Curious, they flew the drone closer to get a better look, half thinking the guy might be lost and were ready to help him out. But then they were taken aback to see the man was armed and even aimed his weapon at the drone, perceiving it as a potential threat. At first, they wondered if he was from some undiscovered tribe, but with weapons? That got them thinking he might actually be a bandit, especially since there had been quite a few break-ins and other trouble in the area recently. Well, we know who'll be the talk of the town after this. Howl and Hide. Another gadget was able to capture what seems like a three feet humanoid creature trying to escape a coyote chasing it. The cryptid creature quickly dashed along the sidewalk and jumped inside a couple of trash cans, successfully fooling the coyote. The animal lingered for a while, trying to follow the creature's scent, but eventually went away. That's when the humanoid creature peered outside and made a break for it. You could argue it's a fake video, but why would someone go through the effort of showing the escape too? This clip seems pretty legit. Bark Jester. A young YouTuber went to explore a new place rumored to be haunted. He flew his drone over a secluded road. A figure emerged, a man clad in a clown's outfit, but he clearly didn't look happy. He tried to knock it down by throwing rocks at it. When that didn't work, he hid in the trees, maybe trying to sneak up on it. Then he came back out, gave it another go at hitting the drone, and then disappeared for good. What was he up to? Maybe he was just stringing the drone along for fun, or maybe he was up to something evil. Cult red-handed. Okay, wait, I'm gonna go closer. Those little dots. Yeah, yeah go closer, go oh, closer. Oh, what is that? Dude, Yo, those are definitely people. Yeah. What the hell? I don't know Dude, what that is. In an empty harvested field, a group of troublemakers met secretly, but didn't know they were being recorded by a drone flying overhead. The three shadowy figures stood close together, seemingly involved in a sinister ritual. Were they trying to summon a creature from another realm? Or simply trying out wacky dance moves? Just the wind's really strong well, I, right I think now. they're like trying to summon someone. Yeah, I don't know what that- oh, What is freaking oh, going in circles and everything? What the hell's going on? Holy! The person flying the drone, driven by curiosity, moved in for a closer look, seeking clues. Suddenly, to his shock, one figure appeared to wield unusual power, making a move as if to take over the drone. Overcome with fear, the drone operator quickly pulled back, deciding to leave the mysterious group and their suspicious activities behind. Entire time they've been in a perfect triangle. What if it's like the Illuminati, bro? Dude, 100% is. Bro, let's bro, cut. Yo, let's cut. Let's Yo, let's cut. Yo I think I see one of them, bro. Ghostly Grazer. An anonymous man decided to go beyond the exclusion zone in Chernobyl with the help of his drone and captured something strange. A headless animal, presumably a moose, dashing across the site into the woods. Not believing what he captured, the man tried to focus on the moose, but just before that, he lost sight and had to return. It's clear the moose experienced some sort of fallback after the disaster, but to survive without a head, that's incredible. Ever since the video became viral, most have wondered if such creatures have been hiding in plain sight all this time. Thermal Triumph. 
Hey, I think I got her in the woods. A five-year-old girl wandered off somewhere while she was playing outside her house in Tampa. When she didn't return several hours later, cops were called for an area-wide search. After checking all nooks and crannies, they eventually decided to visit the local swamp. But since it was too big and would take a long time for them to clear it off, they decided to use a drone with thermal imaging to scour the area before they went in. Luckily, the drone found a little girl right in the middle of the swamp, probably staying in place out of confusion. Cops didn't wait a second and immediately rushed to the scene. With, oh, oh, with the helpful drone guiding them along the way. The girl was a little shaken, but thankfully she was fine. We are all, we were looking for you, sweetheart. Drone deliverance. In September 2021, AJ, a three-year-old boy, disappeared from his family home in the village of Putty in northern Sydney, Australia. Fearing the worst, his parents immediately called the cops, who initially launched an area-wide search. But even with over 600 people backing them, the cops failed to find AJ, and three days passed. We have searched the area head to toe. Finding AJ was critical since the outbacks can be a nightmare. So one clever cop came up with an idea, using a drone to scour the thick wilderness. In just a short few hours, they managed to find AJ, who was drinking from a creek. Thankfully, AJ had remained safe and was quickly escorted back to his parents, who were beside themselves in happiness when the news got back to them. Scare Icopter. Drones can be pretty helpful, but not always. Here's a crazy moment where one African villager saw a drone for the first time, and she didn't take it so well. She had never been exposed to technology before, not even a smartphone. So naturally, seeing something whirring menacingly and following her around made her think the drone was some evil abomination. The poor woman grew more hysterical the closer the drone got. She probably believed it was an evil incantation, and even muttered some frantic words to try to get rid of it. <laughs> Meanwhile, the owner of the drone was enjoying the entire view, and let it go on for a few minutes before explaining what it was. Pest Control a drone flying over fields in an area captured an army of at least 10,000 ducks pecking into the ground and pulling at the weeds in the leftover rice stubble after the crop was harvested. This was a clever strategy by farmers who wanted to weed out pests without contaminating the crops with harmful chemicals. While it's an environmentally conscious decision, I'm more impressed with how they were able to train an entire duck army, precisely enough to only target unwanted pests from the ground. Well, that's one farmer you don't want to mess with. Too cool for school. This is the moment a drone shot a school of salmon swimming in a circle. You might be wondering why the salmon are moving around in a circle. When salmon return to fresh water from the ocean to spawn, they sometimes swim in circles as part of their pre-spawning activities. This circular motion can help them find the perfect spot to lay their eggs, ensuring the next generation's safety and survival. But it could also be a defense tactic by forming a tight circle. Salmon can protect themselves from predators, making it harder for any potential threat to target an individual fish within the school. Dunes and Drones This sinister-looking clown was carving something on the sand, but immediately dropped the giant branch when he noticed the drone flying overhead. Hoping the drone would go away, the clown waited for a few minutes before deciding to take matters into his own hands. Picking up the branch again, the clown threw it at the drone, hoping to force it down, but the whirring gadget dodged it at the last minute. But the story doesn't end here. The clown suddenly noticed a beachgoer who'd accidentally wandered into the area and began chasing him. The duo fought for a while before the beachgoer managed to escape. Welp, that's about the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. Techno Deity A drone flying over the Amazon rainforest, managed to film 16 individuals. The tribe had never seen anything like this ever before and was ready to take matters into their own hands, some of which were armed with arrows. The drone took this as a cue to leave, but its adventure was far from over. It continued into the thick woods and revealed yet another mysterious tribe, one that was dressed in red and yellow paint and brandishing spears and arrows, almost as if it was going to war. I wonder if both tribes saw the drone and assumed it was a deity of some sort. How would they know it isn't? Colonel Clown 
A photographer decided to test out his new drone to take a couple of cornfield videos for his Instagram. As he was cruising over a dry cornfield, he noticed an orange blimp and decided to fly even lower, revealing a clown hiding with the crops. The creepy clown must have heard the drone whizzing because it looked up at the drone. It looked like the clown didn't anticipate being spotted and was mulling over what to do, but quickly decided to run. Just as the drone moved closer, the photographer tried to follow the clown, but couldn't catch up and eventually gave up. A wrinkle in time. A few years ago, a YouTube channel uploaded drone footage, capturing a man casually walking down a sidewalk, then suddenly breaking into a run. Just a few strides later, he completely disappeared. Did he just teleport to another dimension? Well, this has sparked debate. Some viewers agree with the teleportation theory. There are also a few who argue the video was edited, while many others propose more fantastical explanations, suggesting the man could be a time traveler. Caught on camera at the very moment, he leapt to another era. Is this a case of teleportation, or time travel, or merely a trick of video editing? What do you think? Ghoul in the Woods This was filmed in Russia, where one keen-eyed drone owner noticed a white figure peering from behind the trees. For a second, he thought it was just a white sheet hanging from a tree, probably placed by a farmer nearby. But when he got closer, he noticed it was a bipedal and one so tall, it would put the entire NBA to shame. The figure looked like it was trying to hide behind the trees, but its tall stature was making that incredibly difficult. It spooked the drone owner so much, he quickly zoomed away, not even daring to find out what the creature was. E.T. Fleet In November 2023, an American military pilot noticed a few dozen mysterious glinting objects flying over the South China Sea, flying in groups of three, the mysterious UFOs were in an amazing sink and seemed to hover over the clouds for a few minutes before disappearing behind them. When this video became viral, many initially claimed the pilot might have altered the video or simply filmed it from an angle where you could see his plane's internal lights. But some eagle-eyed observers claimed it was too still and inconsistent to be something like that. It's possible he might have just captured proof of alien life just flying over our heads. Hot dog. A three-year-old dog wandered into a marshland. Officers and its owners tried all sorts of tricks to lure it out, but the canine remained persistent, refusing to budge out fear and confusion, and remained there for two days. The tide was slowly increasing, and if they delayed it any longer, the dog would have gotten stuck and succumbed to the flow. After everything failed, eventually, the officers figured out a different strategy. They brought out their high-tech drone and tied a sausage to it with a rope. Funnily enough, the cartoonish strategy worked. The dog, exhausted from staying up all night and not having any food to eat for two days, couldn't resist the delicious sausage and trotted along the drone. Monster munition. Is that a bird? Is that a plane? Nope. It's definitely something else. One drone owner decided to skip his normal route and flew over the Farmington Canyon in northern Utah. That's when he spotted a hairy bipedal, almost something akin to a Bigfoot. He zoomed in closer to get a good look, but out of nowhere, the creature flung something, a silvery glint, and luckily the drone dodged it. Later, the owner reviewed his drone footage to see what he'd seen and slowed it down. Here, now that really does look like a weapon, doesn't it? Aerial Photobomb. In a secluded part of California, during a routine review of farm footage, a freelance drone operator spotted an anomaly in the clouds, square-shaped objects floating in the sky. The internet quickly filled with discussions about these mysterious squares. Some thought they might be plain toed banners, but with that peculiar movement? Seems unlikely. A few others commented, it could be the US Army trying out a new experimental aircraft, but we don't know anything for sure. So the question remains, what exactly are these squares hovering above? If they're aliens, we're done for. Flying Fido. A man came up with a quirky plan to walk his dog with a drone. Thinking it'd just be harmless fun, his plans took a rather unexpected direction. The dog tried hard to keep up with the fast moving drone at first. Then the situation got out of hand when the drone flew too high and the man couldn't control it anymore. The man raced to catch up with his dog, now high in the air with the drone. The worst part is that we can't see the end, but I'm pretty sure it was all play. Why else would he share it with the world? 
Echoes and Scales. In 2016, a drone cruising over Dana Point in California captured a pod of dolphins migrating to the other shore. Or that's what most people assumed. A little over a month after it was uploaded, a keen-eyed viewer noted something strange. Although they look like dolphins, they seem to have appendages like humans. See here, right before they dive in, you can make out a smidge of an arm. Almost like the entire group is trying to quickly dive in without having to reveal their half-human appearance. Of course, the video has gotten its fair share of criticism. Some stick to the mermaid theory, while others are saying it's just a dolphin pod. What do you say? Whale of a bite. Pretty amazing, it kind of like froze because I wasn't expecting to see all these sharks. A fisherman captured a humpback whale carcass floating off Western Australia's south coast, about 50 kilometers east of Albany. The humpback seemed to have passed away a while ago and was surrounded by sharks, hungrily gnawing off parts of the carcass. I thought it was pretty cool though. It was pretty, pretty epic to see it all. The drone batch died because it was pretty windy. It's not just about being in the right place at the right time. It's also about the natural events aligning. A whale carcass in the ocean doesn't happen every day. And for multiple sharks to gather for a feeding frenzy is even more unusual because they are solitary feeders. But the craziest part, it wasn't just the same type of shark. There must have been at least three different shark species, meaning it's truly one of nature's rarest moments. The hills have eyes. You're always being watched, even when you're miles high in the sky. This is Aiken Spring in the Gobi Desert in Northwest China, and it's dubbed the Devil's Eye for its menacing looks. And well, you know the rest. It's not only named such because of its appearance. Water spewing out of the Devil's Eye is rich in sulfur, making the land around it barren. Since tourists are typically asked to stand a little distance from the edge, this view is well worth the money. Wooly Romance. Check out this farmer casually laying out food in the shape of a heart and his herd of sheep following through. This isn't as easy as it seems. Although sheep have a strong instinct to follow the herd, it takes months of training to get them to follow a trail of food, and that too in a single file. The farmer must have spent months in advance training the sheep by consistently rewarding them when they followed correctly, eventually making them get used to whatever pattern the farmer made. Rumble in the barn? Drones are amazing. Except when they stumble into private property, this pesky drone took a big risk entering a farm. But the eagle-eyed farmer quickly noticed the device and tried to usher it away. But when the drone didn't go away, he did this. Mayday, mayday, yep. That drone isn't getting back up. Well, do stupid things, pay stupid prizes. Gary Arctic Gateway. Drones can be like pesky mosquitoes, but they do have one thing up their sleeves. They can give us a bird's eye view of areas we can't reach. Take this one incident, for example. A drone was out scanning dense fields and stumbled upon an elderly man who had gone missing. He was trying his best to stand up, using bushes around him for support, but he just couldn't make it on his own. Once the drone found him, the rescue team sprang into action. Guided by the drone's footage, they navigated through the field to reach the man. They managed to help him up and safely escorted him back to his home. Nature's Nautilus. One drone captured a humpback whale duo breaching the surface. Now that's already out of the ordinary, but focus on the back here. This unique spiral, the whale fashioned out of water, is the Fibonacci spiral. If you didn't know, the Fibonacci spiral is a special curve made by drawing squares next to each other that grow bigger in a special pattern. If you connect the corners of these squares with a curve, it looks like a snail shell. We typically see it in flowers and shell patterns, but it looks like Mother Nature is a renowned mathematician and artist. Revolutionary discovery. Here's something you don't see every day. A school of Kaunos rays swimming together in the ocean? Kaunos rays often move in large groups for safety and to find food. This behavior helps protect them from predators as their strength in numbers. This phenomenon occurs mainly during their migration seasons as they move towards warmer waters or in search of food. Although Kaunos migrations are common, spotting one isn't. So we're really looking at nature at its finest. Snap and chat. Here's an idea. If you spot an alligator while flying a drone, maybe stay out of reach? This gator clearly hates drones. Well, 
to them, it may just be that one big annoying mosquito you just can't seem to get rid of. But this gator failed to get the drone. This one didn't. Ah! Well, that's on him. He flew too close to the gator. Yep, this drone operator stupidly gave away his drone. Almost like it was Uber Eats for the reptiles. <laughs> that's not funny. Glow and behold. This was filmed by a drone enthusiast in Utah. And in case you missed it, here's a slow playback. Notice that silver thing that just went zooming ahead? Yep, that's not supposed to be possible. We might be looking at an incredibly fast UFO. Since we can't come up with any other plausible information, it's easily something that crazy. Blue's Clues. Orcas and blue whales. Now that's a combination you rarely see out in the wild since most orcas stick to smaller whales and sharks. But this was just recently captured. And I've gotta say it's pretty amazing. The orcas might have been tailing the blue whale for practice or fun. Since it's clearly not going to be easy to hunt it down. And it looks like the blue whale was also bearing it just fine. Until one of the orcas tried to get too close and then the blue giant easily decked it with its body. Flying felons. This is what happens when you send a drone out in the no-fly zone in Tokyo. The Japanese police pull out its own drone to send it off. Although I'm confused about the legality. Will the police be fined for flying a drone in a no-fly zone? Or will it get a pass because it's protecting the place? Spirited away. A drone captured something strange. Dozens of wooden coffins dangling over a cliff in China. Well, you'd think it's crazy, but it's actually tradition. In certain parts of China, rather than burying the deceased in the ground, some ancient people chose to place their coffins high up on the sides of cliffs. You might wonder, why up there? Well, they believed that by placing the coffins in such hard to reach places, it would bring the departed closer to the heavens and protect them from animals and floods. The tradition has since dwindled, but there are over a hundred coffins stuck to the cliffs. They carry the body in a wrapped in blanket and in a fetal position. Scales and stones. A drone enthusiast was exploring the Atlantic Ocean from the edge of Cape Cod when he noticed a shadowy figure swimming between the rocks. Initially assuming it was just a seal with a fish in its mouth, he almost flew forward before he noticed yet another weird thing. The creature seemed to almost disappear beneath the waves, but you can see it has a thinner body and what seems to look like an arm-like body part extending right here. That's something humanoid. We don't know what it is, but it's great to know we might have mystical creatures like this lurking beneath the waves. Open discussion. A short decade ago, a drone captured a mermaid-like creature sitting on a rock. The drone owner was watching from a cliff nearby, but he and his pals could rarely make it out. So they decided to get a good look, but the mermaid seemed to have sensed their presence and quickly made a getaway. Welp, if mermaids are real, so are the other creatures. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like it and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.